Hello everybody. Hopefully the wind will stay died down. Got appliances running inside. The next camera is the Kodak Instamatic 500. It's from 1963-1964. It was produced for about two years. It was a high-end viewfinder camera for Kodak film, the uh, 126 cartridges. It was made by Kodak AG in Stuttgart, what was then West Germany. has this retractable 38mm uh, f28 uh, lens, stops down to f22. It's a Zenar made by Schneider Kreuznach. It's a pretty sweet lens. It's four elements in three groups. Close focuses to two and a half feet. It takes a uh, 32 millimeter filter. It's sitting in a compure leaf shutter. It goes from 1 30th of a second to 1 500th of a second plus bulb. Uh, because it's a leaf shutter, it X syncs uh, with electronic flash at all speeds has uh, this PC sync socket on the front and a real hot shoe instead of a flash cube or magic cube socket so that's pretty nice um, if you're using flash bulbs uh, you need to set the shutter to a 30th of a second it uses a Gaussian selenium meter so it doesn't uh, need any batteries this is one of the few of the Instamatics that actually has a sensor in here and it reads the little notch in the 126 cartridge. So it'll set the uh, meter for ISO 25 to ISO 800. It has parallax marks and a match needle in the viewfinder. And when you're using it, it has this nifty guard right here. Keep your fingers from in front of the viewfinder or the meter. The bottom has the advanced lever and a nice metal tripod socket and then this release button for uh, retracting. Sorry. You got to push it in and then push in the lens. Push it in again it's spring loaded and it'll pop it out and it's ready to shoot. Everything locks up so there's a safeguard. If you forget to extend the lens it won't fire. It is light, simple, with a sharp, fast, wide lens. This would be an ideal street photography uh, camera if it wasn't for the fact that it takes extinct film. I do have some uh, empty cartridges, um, so I'm going to have to reload and shoot with this guy again. Because my test roll was, I had a 12 exposure uh, cartridge. It was Coda Color VR ISO 200, but it said develop before 11 1987. And using the rough guide where you uh, add a stop for every decade, I only subtracted one stop, shot this at ISO 100, and it wasn't nearly enough. So I'll get some reloaded in here and put some more, I won't do another video, but I'll put some more result uh, images over on the blog. So I got a couple that I've shot with and I need to get to, so I will see you then.